Hey there, happy holidays! Today we are learning English with a classic Christmas movie, Home Alone. So this movie is all about a young boy named Kevin whose family goes on a Christmas vacation and they accidentally leave him home alone. First for him, it's all fun and games as he's able to do everything that he's not able to do with his parents' supervision. But soon it turns into a bit of chaos and a scary situation when burglars try to break into the house. So obviously this movie is full of hilarious pranks, but it's also full of fantastic vocabulary, and you're going to have a lot of fun learning with it today. But before we jump into the lesson, I wanted to let you know that if you're new here, every single week we help learners like you understand fast-speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just like Akshad, who says that he never thought that learning vocabulary could be this easy. And you're going to greatly increase your vocabulary too. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. Now let's have a lot of fun learning with Home Alone. Remember that kid we saw the other day? He lives here. Well, if the kid's there, the parents gotta be. He's home alone. Kid, you want to come back tonight? Uh-huh. Even with the kid here? Uh-huh. I don't think that's a good idea, Harry. Hey, look, that house is the only reason we started working this block in the first place. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. So let's take it one step at a time, okay? We'll unload the van, we'll get a bite to eat, and we'll come back about 9 o'clock. This way it's dark then. Yeah. Kids are scared of the dark. You're afraid of the dark too, Marv. You know you. No, I'm not. Not, not, not. Well, if the kid's there, the parents gotta be. This is a great line to practice connected speech, how natives cut and link their words together. These two words link, well if. This is a z sound, and this is all one word, kids there. Here, the sound is pe, pe, parents. And of course, this is an American T, gotta. Gotta. Lastly, both occurrences of the in this utterance are unstressed. They sound like a weak syllable. The, the kid, the parents. Altogether, well, if the kid's there, the parents gotta be. Well, if the kid's there, the parents gotta be. Well, if the kid's there, the parents gotta be. You gotta be kidding. You wanna come back tonight? Uh huh. Even with the kid here? Uh huh. I don't think that's a good idea, Harry. Can you notice any differences in meaning in the sentence, I don't think that's a good idea, I think that's not a good idea? Besides possibly a nuance of meaning, they communicate the same idea. In English, when we use the verb think or the verb believe, although there are others as well, we just have the habit of negative in the first verb. I don't think something like that's even possible. Oh, gee, Sheldon, I don't think we can play on Sunday. Look. That house is the only reason we started working this block in the first place. He says they've been working the block. A block is an urban area surrounded by four streets. We also call a block the length of one side of a block, especially as a measure of distance. Example, the school is three blocks away. Can you notice that the way they use the verb work here is different from how we traditionally use it? This is a less common use of work. For example, if you work the land, you do all the work necessary to grow crops on it. What he means here by working the block is that they're robbing the houses from that block. I will have you know I come from simple farm folk. There is permanent dirt underneath these fingernails from work in the soil. Really? I had no idea that repotting your orchids counted as work in the soil. How would you complete this sentence? Now, most learners often confuse steal, rob, and other similar words. While rob and steal both mean to take something without permission, we use the word rob to refer to the place or person where the things are being taken from. So you would rob a bank, rob a house, or rob the billionaire. Collocated with house, you will often also hear the word burgle. Example, the house was burgled while we were sleeping. Now, steal focuses on the thing that was taken. Example. The thieves stole our TV. 
The pickpocketers stole my wallet. Somebody stole a very expensive bottle of wine from my office. <clears throat> So now you know, you don't rob a wallet or money, you steal them. And you don't steal a house, a bank, or a person, you rob them. Can you give me an example with rob and steal in the comments below? Hey, look, that house is the only reason we started working this block in the first place. We say in the first place at the end of a sentence to indicate what was true or what should have been done at the beginning of a situation. And if you hated it so much, why did you buy it in the first place? Sorry about that. No, we're sorry. We never should have been comparing relationships in the first place. Why? We won. <laughs> Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. So let's take it one step at a time, okay? Did you notice how he pronounced wanted it as wanted it? We usually reduce or remove the T sound when it's after an N sound. Here, the N takes up the place of the T. I wanted what those kids had then, and 40 years later, I still wanted it. Some other times, however, we pronounce each sound clearly. Well, see, I wanted it. To lay eyes on something or someone means to see something or someone for the first time. Then he says, let's take it one step at a time. If you do something one step at a time, you do it slowly and carefully, doing just a little at a time. Or as he says, take it one step at a time. It's the biggest thing I've ever tried to do. Contestants, ready positions. Just take it one step at a time. Don't worry about the 50 to hopefully 75 hot dogs you're going to eat. Just worry about the dog in front of you. We'll unload the van. We'll get a bite to eat. We'll come back about 9 o'clock. Here, they explain how they will take it one step at a time. To load means to put something inside of a container. In this case, they plan to load the van with the things they'll steal. The opposite of to load is to unload. The next thing they'll do is get a bite to eat. This is an informal way of saying eat something, to have a meal. We also say grab a bite to eat. Listen, uh, what do you say we go grab a bite to eat? Get the car fixed later. At, at my apartment, it's, um, it's um, 5 Morton Street, apartment 14. Um, and then maybe, you know, after we could grab a bite to eat or whatever. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll see you then. Hey, you want a fun way to learn English and get into the Christmas spirit? Well, check out this playlist that has all of our lessons that have to do with this fantastic holiday, and you're going to learn all about how it's celebrated in the United States. Be sure to check out that after you finish this lesson. This way it's dark then. Yeah, kids are scared of the dark. You're afraid of the dark too, Mom. You know you we say it's dark when it's nighttime and you can't see. The opposite is light. Example. In the winter, it doesn't get light out until after 9 a.m. There he is! Hey, I'm calling the cops! Wait, 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 wait. He wants us to follow him. I got a better idea. Come on. Hiya, pal. We outsmarted you this time. Get over here. What are you gonna do to him, Harry? I'll do exactly what he did to us. And I'll burn his head with a blowtorch. You can smash his face with an iron. I can slap him right in the face with a paint can, maybe. Or shove a nail through his foot. First thing I'm gonna do is bite off every one of these little fingers, one at a time. <laughs> wait, 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 he wants us to follow him. This is another utterance with the same interesting connected speech. First, there's linking. These two words sound like one, wants us. There's also the omission of the H in him. As we've seen many times, this is common in words such as he, her and his as well. In this utterance, we're going to emphasize these syllables only. He, want, follow. Everything else is unstressed. Wait, 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 he wants us to follow him. He wants us to follow him. By the way, do you want to master connected speech like this? 
Well, the most fun way to do it is with our Fluent with Friends course. Every week for 40 weeks, you will accompany in episodes of the first two seasons of the series Friends. Plus, you get 20 plus page PDF power lessons, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And the best part is, you can try it for free right now with our three part masterclass. All you have to do is click up here or down in the description below, and you can learn more and sign up for that now. Hiya, pal. We outsmarted you this time. Get over here. Hiya is an informal greeting, like hi, hello, or hey. Hiya, big boy. Charlie. Hiya, Jay Pritchett here. Holidays are just around the corner. The word pal is usually used to refer to a man. Come out of here. Mm. See you, pals. See ya. It's also equivalent to friend if you say, he's my pal, for example. Or, as Chandler says here, which means be a friend. Joey, be a pal. Lift up my hand and smack her with it. <laughs> we outsmarted you this time. Get over here. If you outsmart someone, you defeat someone by being more intelligent or clever. In this word, out is used as a prefix meaning more. Well, he's so wise. Why does he need fireballs? I can't he just, you know, outsmart the bad guys? Thus, outlive means live longer. Well, keep taking your medication. You'll outlive all of us. <laughs> outrun means run faster. Dad, you're not gonna outrun me in that dress! Here, it's him versus many people in an argument. That's why he says he's outnumbered. Hey, all right, you know what? Clearly I'm outnumbered here, but could I just say one thing, please? Then he says, get over here. Get over here. This can be understood by looking at what he's doing in this clip. We say this when we tell someone to come closer to us or join us in what we're doing. Sheldon, get over here. She might be contagious. <laughs> I don't want to Just get over here. What do you think would be the opposite of this? In the rest of the clip, once they catch Kevin, they say what they're going to do to him, which is the same thing he did to them in the movie. He burned Marv's head with a blowtorch. He smashed Harry's face with an iron. He hit Marv with a paint can in the face. Don't worry, Marv, I'll get him for you. Kids there, the parents gotta be. He's home alone. You gotta be kidding. You wanna come back tonight? Uh huh. Even with the kid here? Uh huh. I don't think that's a good idea, Harry. Hey, look, that house is the only reason we started working this block in the first place. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. So let's take it one step at a time, okay? We'll unload the van, we'll get a bite to eat, and we'll come back about 9 o'clock. This way it's dark then. Yeah, kids are scared of the dark. You're afraid of the dark too, Marv. You know you. No, I'm not. Not, not, not. There he is! Hey, I'm calling the cops! Wait, 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 wait. He wants us to follow him. I got a better idea. Come on. Hiya, pal. 
We outsmarted you this time. What are you gonna do to him, Harry? I'll do exactly what he did to us. I'm gonna burn his head with a blowtorch. Go ahead, smash his face with an iron. I'd like to slap him right in the face with a paint can, maybe. Or shove a nail through his foot. First thing I'm gonna do is bite off every one of these little fingers, one at a time. <laughs> oh! <gasps> All right, I hope you had a lot of fun today and laughed alongside this classic Christmas movie, and I hope that you'll go and watch it in English and understand a lot more of it. And if you want to be able to confidently understand natives, well, then look no further. Check out one of the other lessons that we have for you here. And now it's time to go beyond the classroom and live your English. Oh, yeah.